defendant took the rifle, shot him right here in the chest, one bullet, killed him. And Lori McConnell was sitting on the couch, and that's when he unloaded the rest of his ammo on her. And you're going to hear and see testimony about all the bullet holes all throughout her body. And he turned around and left. New York Police State Police started their investigation to look only for him. And it went from a murder investigation to a witch hunt. Judge, I'm giving the defense counsel uh, some additional material. Uh, be on the safe side, additional desire. I believe I served in the world. Uh, I thought I'd come after you today. Anything else? No, Your Honor. From the defense? No, Your Honor. All right. Let's, let's bring in the jury. <coughs> and, and so the charges include first degree murder that involves the death of uh, Lori McConnell and Charles Andrus. It also includes the charges of assault in the first degree, assault in the second degree, involving an injury to Karen Zadunko. Uh, there are charges in the indictment of burglary in the first degree, witness tampering, criminal use of a firearm, uh, reckless endangerment, uh, and criminal contempt in the first degree. <clears throat> an indictment is simply an accusation of paper writing and is not in any way evidence of the allegations it contains. It is merely a device used to bring the charges against the defendant to trial. The defendant has pled not guilty to the indictment. <clears throat> the people have the burden of proving beyond a reasonable doubt each and every element of the crimes charged in the indictment. The defendant does not have to prove anything. The defendant is presumed innocent. When I have completed these remarks, the case will begin with a statement by the district attorney as to what the people intend to prove. The law requires the district attorney to make an opening statement to enable the court and jury to better understand the testimony and the evidence which follows. The defendant's attorney is not required by law to make an opening statement. However, he has indicated that he will. <clears throat> The opening statements of counsel are not evidence. The evidence upon which you will base your decision will come to you from witnesses or in the form of photographs, documents, or other exhibits introduced and admitted into evidence at the trial. There is no evidence. Under our system of law, defense counsel will have the right to address the jury first, and the district attorney will have the right to address the jury last. These closing